Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise 4E channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The star of Sister Wise, Janelle Brown, is still in shock over her son Garrison's untimely death and is supporting her other son Gabriel in his brother's grieving process. Cody Brown's second wife, Janelle, was their mother of six children. After 30 years of marriage, Janelle and Cody's spiritual union came to an end in 2022. Cody had been out of Janelle's and their kids' lives for a long time by the time they made the decision to end their relationship. Janelle had became worried in March after receiving several texts from Garrison that seemed to indicate he was having emotional difficulties. The Sister Wives season 18 actress dispatched Gabrielle to see how he was doing when she was unable to get through to him. On March 5, Gabrielle discovered the 25-year-old National Guardsman dead in his Flagstaff, Arizona, home from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Garrison must have been extremely traumatized to uncover his brother's dead in addition to losing him. It's possible that Janelle is anxious about Gabrielle and wants to make sure she supports him. In April, who doesn't enjoy Thanksgiving? Gade's pals held a Friendsgiving today as one of the group is an international student at NAU, has never been to a Thanksgiving, and will be returning home at the end of the semester, Janelle said in the caption of a carousel of photographs she shared on Instagram in April. With a dejected expression on his face, Gabriel is seen in the picture sitting at the end of a long table with his companions. It's encouraging to see that Gabriel is still interacting with others and isn't isolating himself from society. After everything Gabriel had been through, Janelle would want to spend as much time as possible with him. It's possible that Janelle is overcome with regret for not being able to save Garrison and is resolved to never allow her kids to endure suffering. Janelle needs to be kind to herself and keep in mind that she is also grieving. Gabriel grew up with his now-deceased brother, because they were almost the same age at 22. They didn't live together for very long, even as adults. Gabriel moved in with his brother to live as housemates with Garrison after the latter purchased his house in Arizona in 2021. Gabriel and Garrison became more closer during COVID-19 after experiencing rejection from their own father. A Sister Wives clip featuring Garrison returning home from the National Guard was released by TLC in 2018. He runs from the car to the home in a fit of excitement and collapses into his mother's sobbing arms. Garrison says to producers in the video, I try not to talk about, you know, possible deployments or stuff like that around her because she does have a problem with us being away. The statement has a fresh meaning in light of Garrison's untimely passing. The video concludes with Gabrielle and Garrison, among his several siblings, giving each other hugs. Before Gabrielle's untimely death, Janelle was happy with him, but Cody wasn't. Garrison and Gabrielle were involved in a long-running conflict between the Brown family and their father when Garrison passed away. Growing up, Cody was always close to his sons, but after marrying Robin, things took a turn for the worse. Cody found it increasingly difficult to spend time with the kids he had with his first three spouses after taking into account Robin's three children and having two more of their own. Family strife and turmoil resulted from the resentment of Cody's elder children. When the COVID-19 pandemic struck the planet in 2020, everything went completely out of control. While Robin and Cody were wary about the illness, several of Cody's older children weren't. Because the boys kept working and hanging out during the pandemic, Cody got into a fight with Garrison and Gabrielle. Cody refused to see the boys since they disobeyed his and Robin's tight standards. Janelle decided to leave Cody because he would not come to her house unless she ejected her older sons. Cody has stopped talking to his sons by the end of the 18th season of Sister Wives. Janelle was devastated by Garrison's passing because she and her son had always had a wonderful relationship. Janelle shared a heartfelt family remembrance of Garrison on Instagram on March 5, just hours after the terrible news of his passing spread. The caption said, We are so sorry to report our lovely kid Robert Garrison Brown's passing. Dylan and I are devastated. For everyone who knew him, he was a source of happiness. 
His passing will leave a void in our lives that is so immense, it will leave us speechless. Since then, Janelle has kept a low profile while silently grieving her son. Janelle's major priority is to spend time with her surviving kids. Janelle made the solar eclipse that occurred on April 9th, North America, a new family ritual. With the Beatles' Here Comes the Sun playing in the background, Janelle shared the video to Instagram. It's also hard to describe how profound it is to witness this phenomenon. The description says in part, We all felt more in awe of the physical world around us as a result of it. Janelle needs a constant reminder that the world is still beautiful in the wake of Garrison's passing. Four days after the premature death of Garrison Brown, the son of Sister Wise actresses Janelle and Cody Brown, the Brown family gathered to grieve. Emma, Garrison's devastated cousin, wrote a heartbreaking letter expressing her loss and wishing for one last talk with her uncle, which was presented in a moving tribute on Saturday. Emma captured the deep sense of loss felt by those closest to Garrison in her letter. Dear Robert, I had to dress up for your funeral today, and this is everything I wish you could have heard before I had to say goodbye. The 25-year-old son of sister wives, actors Janelle and Cody Brown, Garrison, was found dead at his home last week, according to the Flagstaff Police Department. The terrible occurrence was linked to an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. The police report states that on that fateful Tuesday, Garrison's brother Gaby made the devastating discovery. Officers were informed by Janelle that Garrison had cut off contact with her the night before. She further disclosed that he had sent a confusing text message expressing mixed feelings to a group of people they work with, saying, I want to hate you for sharing the good times. However, I am unable to. These are the days I miss. Following his untimely demise, Garrison's loved ones have expressed their condolences and remembered the extraordinary person he was. His cousin wrote a moving eulogy, remembering the special times they had spent together and how hard it is to say goodbye to someone who has such a bright smile and strong presence. I'm not even in possession of a photo of you without your infectious smile. I'm not sure how to express how much I'll miss you. I wish I could hug you and tell you how much I appreciate you. The tribute said, You were human, you had imperfections, but never once did I doubt the friendship we had. It is with heavy hearts that loved ones mourn Garrison, especially as they prepare for what would have been his 26th birthday on April 10. Emma wrote to Garrison expressing her deep appreciation for the beautiful times they had together and mentioning their many unmet intentions for hiking trips. We only managed to go on one of the many backpacking trips we had planned, she bemoaned. Emma cherished her memories of Garrison, including their movie nights, self-care routines, and his willingness to indulge in messy face masks. She also recalled his goofy dad jokes. She reminisced, You always made sure that I ate, and made sure I knew I could always talk to you, emphasizing his kind and encouraging personality. You were a friend, a soldier, a brother, and a son. She ended by wishing for Garrison's peace in the hereafter and said, if there is a God, I hope he's giving you peace. One of Cody's 18 children, Garrison is split between his four spouses, Janelle, Mary, Christine, and Robin. His family is devastated, trying to come to terms with their unfathomable loss. Following his death, a number of Garrison's siblings have shared their heartfelt recollections and condolences on social media. Beyond family circles, the Nevada National Guard also paid tribute to Garrison as part of the outpouring of grief. Garrison enlisted in 2015, and his fellow soldiers remembered him as a committed person who loved serving in the military and had a good ear for listening. We knew a little bit about who he was from the show, even before he joined, said Master Eschit, Christopher Laduca, his non-commissioned officer in charge of preparedness. He grew up on camera. Ludica underlined that despite Garrison's image in the public eye, his fellow soldiers respected and valued his sincerity and modesty. He never used derogatory language or engaged in macho behavior. Ludica recollected that Garrison devoted the majority of his time to upholding moral principles, portraying him as a selfless and dignified person both in and out of the spotlight. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel 
and don't miss any update.